Welcome back. Today I'm continuing the process to convert my 1981 DeLorean into an electric vehicle. And on today's episode, I'm gonna work to get our third and final battery box installed right here in the old gas tank area of the DeLorean. Uh, spoiler alert, it doesn't fit. <laughs> So I have our little battery box and I've got it pushed up in the gas tank area. And your initial thoughts might be, well, hey, that looks like it fits. And it's very, very close, but unfortunately it does not. So on the back here, actually, first thing, this whole area uh, needs, to be get, needs to get covered up with a plate. So there is a plate uh, right here, a big triangular shaped plate. And that covers uh, this whole area. And it adds uh, rigidity to the frame. So um, I have to put that in place. So um, to sort of set the, <laughs> the place where that's gonna sit, I've just got this metal pipe um, going across here. Um, and you can see that it does not fit. It's not off by a lot. It's off by like maybe an eighth of an inch where where this just doesn't quite make it over. Um, but here's the problem. Up under here, it is touching. I'm really hoping that's not too dark. So you can see here's our small battery box, and here is our existing uh, large battery box, which is mounted um, directly above us. There's like no gap in between here, except it's sitting on these little uh, button head screws. This is actually going to get thicker because I need a, a cover on top of this. So there's going to be at least, at least an eighth of an inch here. And then there's an eighth of an inch here where it's overlapping. So now we're not talking about just an eighth. We're talking about a quarter. And then if I have the top battery box sitting on top of the small one and touching it, these things flex at different rates. This whole front area can, can shift like this, the whole, the whole frame um, twists when you're going around corners and stuff. So I can't have that. I need to have a gap in between. So, okay, maybe we're three eighths of an inch. And then I probably want to have a gap between the, the plate and the bottom of the battery box too. And so now we're a half inch. <laughs> and so you keep adding these things up and it's like, okay, yeah, it's not going to fit. So what I need to do here is I need to figure a way that I can shift this box back um, um, okay, this is this is a decent enough angle right here. So you can see how much overlap there is. That's an inch. That is one inch right there. And I'm gonna try and get myself two inches. So I wanna move this back two inches. And it really shouldn't be that difficult. Let me sit on the ground. <laughs> All right. So because of the way that this is angled, you can see that this is a, this is a pretty sharp angle right here. So if this was 90, this is, uh, as it turns out, about 71 degrees. And so what that means is that for every inch I can shave right here, <laughs> for every inch that I can shave right there, I can add uh, three inches this way. <laughs> I don't have computer graphics, so you just have to deal with my fingers. So shave an inch, grow three. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the small battery box with a small battery module in it, which by the way, look at this fit. Man, that is perfect. And over here, you've got the positive and negative main terminals. Oh man, it is, it is great. Uh, I love send cut send. <laughs> All right, so the issue that I'm running into is basically this side here um, is too wide. And when I was doing my initial um, designs and mocking it up in the car, I didn't take into account that this would be squared off, right? And so you can see this is over here. Um, that's about a quarter of an inch with these two plates on it. And over here, uh, this is closer to like an inch, I think. Um, and so basically those two things, because the angle that it is in, in the car, that those 
um, sides come in like this. Um, every inch of space this way that you can thin this box, it saves you three times as much. So if I take an inch, I get three inches and three inches is enough movement to take me back. Uh, way enough <laughs> to make it fit. Uh, so I've actually calculated that I need roughly five eighths of an inch uh, in order to make this fit. And what I what I did was I took a an angle finder and I put the this in there and this comes out to be um, basically oh well I just zeroed it okay so this is something like seventy one degrees. Um, the interesting thing here is, let me just put this down. If I were to put this like this and just align this so it's straight and move it out so it just clears that. So I've done that and I made tiny little marks, right? So you see that mark right there? If I measure that mark, that mark is about half an inch. So just doing it on this side pretty much gives me enough room. But if I then go over to this side and do the same thing, I basically just take the corner off. Um, that buys me another roughly uh, quarter of an inch. And so if I do these two things, I'm basically just gonna go <laughs> and chop it right there. And then I will take a plate and put the plate back on there. Um, if I do that, it will save me the five eighths of an inch that I need. And then that five eighths inch allows me to move the battery box back just enough so that it clears that larger box that sits on top of it. So that's the plan. All right, now with the modifications made, I can show you the little cut edges on either side. When we do that, we get a tiny little gap up front. And then this is sitting on this uh, little beam temporarily right here. Um, and yeah, this is great. This is perfect. Um, I, I would have liked a little bit more of a gap uh, between here, but it is enough uh, to clear it. Um, and just to make sure that as there's a little bit of flex, you know, nothing rubs too badly there. Let me show you from the back side here. Let's see our chamfered edges right there. So to, to mount this, I'm gonna do a little L bracket right here and a little L bracket right there. And then we'll do the same. Uh, we'll do a little bracket that goes from this side to this side and then the same on the other side there. And that's what's gonna hold it in place. All right, just gotta permanently weld it up and then we gotta work on some brackets. We're back under the car here. So I've got the fully welded uh, small battery box in place. And then I've created two little tabs and I've put them in place just holding them with a magnet. You can see I've marked, there's a circle inside of that hole. Um, so now what I need to do, oh, and this is also, it's a mirror on that side. Uh, so now what I need to do is cut those holes and put some bolts through them. All right, and also while we're under here, uh, there's already a couple of holes um, on where we need them to be to, to grab the bracket in the front of the car here. And so I'm just gonna grab this middle one and there's one on that side too, also in the exact same spot, right across from it, right there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put the riv nuts in those locations while I've got the battery pack out. <laughs>
All right, so the box is back in place. The rivnuts nuts are there. I've put our little uh, bracket piece in there, put the screw, tightened it down, uh, but these are not yet like actually connected here on either side. So that is what I'm going to do now is weld those in place. I'm just gonna do a little tack welds uh, with the flux core welder over there. And then I will go back on the bench once this is complete and fill the welds in. All right, so we're looking at the front of the pack now. Let's see, oh, getting shadow. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you can see that I've got um, this little bracket in place. And then I also made, um, this is a, like a thin U channel sitting right there, sitting on a magnet, just hold it in place. And then similarly over here, sorry, it's very dark. Uh, but the exact same setup, this little U-channel, and then a bolt holding it in place. So now I am going to tack weld this into place. All right, so as I lower this, uh, the battery box is now complete and the mount is done. So I just need to get this over on our TIG welding station and finalize all these welds so that it is nice and strong when it actually has the 50 pound battery on the inside. Uh, here's just a quick look at what the tacks kind of look like. I can't quite see around the back side there. Uh, this is after I've cleaned them up, by the way, with a wire brush. And now I will fully weld them.
And there you have it. Our third and final battery box is now in place here in the DeLorean. Coming up next, I need to put all of the batteries inside of these battery boxes. So if that seems like a fun project, you won't want to miss out on the next episode. So please show me that you're interested and give me your support by subscribing. This is Project Lightning.